Hi guys, welcome to one of the first support videos. All you need to do after our announcement of Arclix is that it's gonna stop, is update, right? And then I told you the magic will follow. So we'll evaluate over time and we have time till the 1st of July to get you up and running perf as perfectly as possible, so to speak. Two packages I see are needed to change. One is where do we get stuff? And stuff is now coming from Cetos, for example. Cetos is paid. We're gonna stop the project, we're gonna stop paying. Okay, so we need to go to something that's not paid. It's gonna be github.com, one and only github.com. And the other thing is the system config, which is always nice to ask NeoFetch, show me what we're on or fast fetch, show me what we're on, that's gonna go away. It's gonna go for Arch. It's not that difficult to change Arclix into an Arclix, and it wasn't difficult to change Arclix into Arclix, right? Into your distribution, name and look. But these are the two packages, that's all you need to know basically, and everything becomes, all it is, is automatically, auto automatically, and magically right done right now we're gonna upgrade arcanlix mirror list git the pacman.conf the one that you had is now copy pasted so this is a copy a backup of what you had and we're gonna replace the pacman.conf with the final version which you can find here then we're gonna upgrade arcanlix d system config and we've updated some things in here changing the logo this is it. This is all you need to know. If you update again, you'll see that things changed, right? We see that we have here some things to explain, but here is core. This is Arch, this is Arch, this is Arch. This is basically the replacement for Arcanlix repo extra large. So everything that's not here in core it's gonna look for it in extra, it's gonna look for it in multilib, and then it's gonna look in chaotic AR. So many things will be replaced, as you see down here, chaotic AOR, chaotic AOR, chaotic AOR, right? That's the deal. Now, Arcanlix, um, what was I going to say? We see some conflict here, which implies required by Niri, desktop, portal, hyperlint, breaks dependencies with portal EMPL I'm not sure what that is first time I see EMPL but we need to um, be able to update right so what's more to do we've built packages ourselves there are differences in naming but as you see in the number right the number it's exactly the same thing. So hyperlang git, yay, hyperlang git, oops, <coughs> git. Then you see you have choices. Hyperlang git comes on the repo from third party, fine, but basically it's saying it should come from number two. All right, I'll take number two. Look at the numbering system. It's a little bit different, but basically I think it's the same release, R10 and then 3.8. Is it different? There's a one behind the six, you see? So that will occur on so many packages because, well, Chaotic AOR has a different, number, different numbering system. But there you go. If we update again, this is one thing less. Pycam git as well, so yay. Hikem git is coming from ours. No, yes, no. I've deleted that one. True, I've deleted it, so we won't see it. So number two, one less package is coming from Kelt KOR update. And this is a one-time thing. Now the Saturday icons are way old, as you see. 
2022. If you're not into save the icons, just remove them, right? Pseudo Pac-Man minus remove, and then save the icons, done. And that's maybe easier. Then downgrading again. So basically we're downgrading. But my advice for the icons is what I'll do is um, go to the internet, right? Just put them in the dot icons website. So SourceForge is the place where the SATI icons are. Download and then unzip and put them in the dot icons. Update. This is probably the same. We're not sure, but pseudo. No, not pseudo, but yay. You need to be able to have the choice which one to take, which is always the one from Chaotic. I mean, maybe even you don't need this this um, um, file package. But there we are. We have now a new one. And then the last thing, which I've never seen before, installing XD dependency of interpersonal impulse required by Neely. So, pseudo pacman minus remove. What do we have? What do we have? We have the portals. I will just um, test this out with desktop portal hyperlink. Just remove it. Required by And what's the rest? Pseudo Pacman minus S X D G desktop portal impl. That's it, right? Those are the things we have. I don't see an EMPL thing. Required by Neri. Strange. That is there. So we overrule it. We say get rid of it anyway. Reboot and see if it still works. So the hyperland one is gone. And that later on we decide should we reinstall it? Um, go to the GitHub from Niri, maybe. Look what they say about this particular file. But there you go. There is how to start, quit, voila. And when you ask now for NeoFetch, there we are. If you now ask for FastFetch, there we are. So basically, that's it, right? And for each system out there, you'll have choices to make and reinstalls to make because, well, Chaotic AOR is going to be the guy that's going to give you your packages, right? All the other files or the repos won't be updated at some point in time. Let's mimic this. In some, some time, we'll see errors, right? You try to update the system and um, Packages that are old, never been updated again since, right, years maybe. The Arch Linux repos will not be updated. Now, nothing new will happen there, except till the 1st of July, we'll update some things, right? New um, changes, but for the rest, after 1st of July, nothing will happen anymore to them. So at some point in time, in the future, and we've commented here in Pacman, remove these last lines once they produce errors, right? Remove them. There's no need for them at some point in time. We just say, let's get rid of them, all of that. And then in control K for cut and then X. Yes, that's it. And at that point in time, the only thing you'll see is Arch, core, extra, multilip, and of course, an abundance of 4,000 plus packages to choose from. That also means if you update your system, you also get, if you are, for example, on the cache OS kernel, 
you get them in, right? You get the update in from Chaotic AOR. You can get it in today, right? Linux, this is all at your disposal. Why? Chaotic AOR is there. This one is there, which provides, let's see, mainline and Nitrous. Uh, this one too, I think. And here we have this one too. The Xenmod is here and the ZN ver etc is there. So all of those kernels are just now there with a Pacman to be installed, to be tested. And that's it for this video, right? So basically recapitulating, you update your system, see what messages you get. Um, you can keep the Arconix repos and, and get your stuff in and decide, okay, I'm gonna get this, gonna get that. Um, do keep it around for until it fails. And that's the point in the video, right? Until it fails. And if you see errors, rewatch this video, see what I did and um, analyze things. All right, cheers.